it's the 10th year of the association. So in celebration of the 10th year, we made the formerly IMAP Summit much bigger. So we used to have about two tracks. We're up to 10 tracks, just uh, significantly celebrating the 10th anniversary. And that means more than 100 speakers. So we're excited. It's happening in just three days. Uh, it starts on October 10th. A uh, very uh, ominous day for us, 1010, celebrating IMAP's 10th. And that's why we call it the power of X. Well, look, you've got the 10 tracks reflecting the new normal, reflecting the fact that you know companies have to look at a digital ecosystem here. What kind of marquee names are we looking at and what specific key result areas are you looking for to take away in this conference? Okay, let's start with the big names. Uh, you're looking at brands like Facebook. There are three speakers from mm -hmm. Facebook. Dan Neary, their Vice President for Asia Pack, is one of the keynote speakers. Uh, we have three speakers from Google. The CMO himself, Simon Kan, is also going to speak in one of the tracks. And then several other keynote speakers from government. Uh, we have DICT Secretary Rodolfo Salalima. Uh, we have Under Secretary for DepEd, Alberto Muyot. And former, um, uh, former tourism, Secretary, Juan Jimenez, Jimenez yes. yes, because well, he's very close well, to the and, you know, all the market, you know, a lot of his legacy is also carrying on the next few years. Now, you've got all the stakeholders here. One of the things about um, internet marketing is you've got to have innovation, you've got to have this platform for infrastructure and growth. How, what can the government do to make sure that innovation and going up the value chain uh, can happen and what can, are you expecting them to talk about in this conference? Well, we're excited for the for DICT Secretary Salalima's uh, keynote. Uh, I believe he's spoken uh, in the past and he's really emphasized uh, the role of the telcos in really using the frequency that um, I think they were given and providing uh, services uh, to, to the country. So we're looking forward to that. He's speaking on day two. Um, but you know, when you talk about the innovation and the ecosystem, uh, we know that some of the companies uh, have a different level of uh, digital maturity. Mm -hmm. So there are those that are you know, perhaps more focused on the digital marketing side mm -hmm. of things, haven't quite crossed over all the way to digital commerce. So we do have those tracks. Five of those tracks are uh, social and search, creatives, ad and media networks, uh, branding and marketing, uh, and what else did I forget? But then you have uh, more, like others that are moving really into the big data part. Let's say CRM and analytics. Yeah, no, certainly analytics is yes, one thing that yes. I can ask and you. And even research and measurement, mm -hmm. uh, which is important to marketers, of course, because they want to see the return on their investment. Uh, we have new tracks that are interesting, e-commerce and payments, startups, which is a big deal. We're going to have Nick Snoliedo. Of course, the um, guy. Yes, We've had yes. it on the show before. Yeah, and, the, and listen, I mean, you're looking at a continuum and also a spectrum, depending on the company you have, but let's bring this close to home. Uh, you are the EVP of McDonald's. Talk to us about how McDonald's has embraced this platform, this drive to be digital. Oh, well, I'm personally very passionate about that. Uh, and. You know, as an evangelist in my own company in McDonald's, so starting in marketing, we started our journey in 2011, and I think that's why we've really um, invested in the social piece. So that's why we're very connected uh, with our with our consumers, and then even when it comes to the digital media part. So now uh, we're starting our journey on digital commerce because that involves more than just the marketing department. Sure. It's really going to mean a cross-functional team from IT as well as operations. We have started to double on it. Uh, we have our best model, which is Mac Delivery. Uh, we've had our web, um, our delivery, in our internet site for delivery since 2009. Well, certainly, I mean, I think, you know, Marco, you, you've, looked, you've looked at it and you've got 2Q income up 87%. I think that's part of the secret sauce, isn't it? I appreciate your time. I wish you all the best, especially for your other member companies in this digital. Yeah, well, so we hope to see you October 10 to 12, right, at PICC. Well, count on us, count on to be there. Thank you okay, very much. Thank you.